Jesus. That works. Yes. <laughs> Did you? Thank you. Yeah, welcome. I, if I knew we were bringing food, I made blueberry muffins yesterday. No, you did. I love blueberries. I'm well, I should have brought them to you yesterday. Okay. okay. Well, now yes. we know. You like cinnamon raisin with cream cheese. There's a multigrain with cream cheese and a multigrain with butter. Thank you. And a tuna melt. And a tuna melt. Um, need two for quorum. We're all here. Uh, I think we all know each other, so I think I'll skip the uh, introduction portion of the evening if everyone's okay with it. Hi, I'm Julia. Like How was your day? <laughs> uh, uh, let's not get de derailed. It's been wild working for the city these days. Um, <laughs> there are no extenuating circumstances. Like well, there are not anymore. Yeah, well, that too. Mm -hmm. Effective multimedia. And um, I guess about just on that point, I want to thank you, Emily, for trying to make the point about this will discourage youngsters from. You heard what I was saying, right? I, like I wasn't. I felt like people didn't understand what I was saying because I was like. It's also, if you're not allowed to finish, it's very hard for people to understand you. Um, well, I also just. I mean, just to throw it out there, I like. We clearly don't care about, sorry, we're on the record, right? Yep. I mean, we'll talk after. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no extenuating circumstances, and that's been removed from my thing. Um, any discussion of the April minutes? Look good to go. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Any opposition? Do I have to pull this out for a month? Um, Union, I can't spell, but unanimously. Cool. Um, and I'll just say this for the record, although everyone in this room knows, this will probably be my last meeting as youth chair. Um, we don't always meet in June just because with uh, they tend to move the full board meeting because of the symphony, and then there's a couple other things. I think Juneteenth now is usually... Mm -hmm. We, the day it's um, observed, the office is closed, and so um, since we don't really, we don't tend to have things we need to do before the end of the summer, um, or before, I tend to just skip it to make scheduling easier for those committees that have to meet. Um, so unless something pressing comes up, I'll probably cancel the June meeting. Um, just... Uh, Thank everybody in person or anyone who may watch this later for your support during my tenure. I really appreciate it. It's been fun. And um, we'll see what happens next year. It's going to be wild. Yes, sir. I'd, I'd like to also thank you for your, for your service as chair of this committee. And I took it at a time when it was in transition and you know, it wasn't clear and through COVID and all those things. So I'd like to thank you for your work on that, Madam Chair. I will know that for the record. Thank you, Sergio. Um, so Comeback Kid is next. Mm -hmm. um, I will say for the record again, this is a new procedure. We never redacted them before. There was not really any need to redact them as far as I could tell. Um, this also puts us in a bit of a complicated situation in that the full board is supposed to vote on these, but because now, because we have to do this, but that was not clear when we set the timeline back in March, April, and then it was, we could, no, it was not adjusted for this change. So I'm not sure how this works. I think the guidance we got from the district manager was that present these to the executive committee. I'm not sure how procedurally valid that is compared to the other, the way that the other committees put their, theirs forward because we're not supposed to vote in executive session, executive committee. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work, but we'll figure it out. Um, it'll be, as my sister tells my nephew, it's an adventure. <laughs> um, there were three applications. Um, the third one was not complete by 5 o'clock today, even though they said that they would be. Um, it has historically been the position of this committee to, um, we've never had a deluge of applicants. We've never had a deluge of, you know, to the point where we couldn't 
So we've historically given it to everyone who has a completed application. Also, as we discussed earlier, and kind of where does the award go, um, you know, in the idea that next year maybe we tighten it up, we have categories or something. Um, yeah. Can I ask a question? Oh, okay. can I mean this in the most like sensitive way? And I should have actually looked it up myself before. Mm -hmm. Is the resume? Can you spell volunteer in Spanish? No. Okay. So it's just. I don't know if that's like a fancy word that I don't know, and that's why spell check. That's why I'm asking. That's why I was like, um, I was. I'm on a mission to learn the languages of the community, so I want. I was hoping that was a new one I could add, but no, apparently not. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. I was hopeful. Um, I, I struggle with language acquisition. <laughs> I mean, English is one of the hardest, so, you know, but I've already acquired that one. Has more exceptions than rules. Um, so I will also say that the when I came on board, the idea of giving it to everyone, especially during COVID, mm -hmm. was that the young people really needed to be celebrated. They needed to be acknowledged. They needed, mm -hmm. um, and that at that point, we were all overcoming something, or we're all overcoming the same thing to varying degrees. Um, so, you know, if that condition, uh, thought isn't continued, I understand. Um, Chair Reyes did send me some guidance or some things to think about in terms of guidelines moving forward. These are our guidelines. Um, I think due to the fact that this is my last meeting and I don't know we'll be on the committee next year, you know, I do think it's probably it's not maybe appropriate for me to make or these decisions or lead this discussion when I won't be here uh, in this capacity. Uh, I will forward it, or I will ask the office to forward it to everyone on the current committee and uh, recommend that it be taken up more concrete guidance and their criteria that they sent um, be taken up in September. That being said, is, do we need to discuss the applicants? Are there any concerns besides the typo that Yeah, they seem to be. No. Well-rounded. What was missing from the applicant? One application? I believe it was the letter of support from the app, the organization sponsoring them, and I think there were signatures missing as well. If it was just the signatures, I'd probably advocate but to... This, yeah, go ahead. B, I didn't see the signature. I didn't see the letter either. I don't, let me check my email. I thought they said free, but maybe it's just... I think B, I thought it was B that was missing the letter. I didn't know there were, I didn't hear three, but I may have, I read a lot of stuff today. There were a lot of emails today, and I apologize. Uh, was no, no, not just in life, not about community, <laughs> not necessarily um, the community board. That does it. You'll find the two nominations. So B is incomplete. I thought there were three, there are only two. So only A is complete. So that, I feel like, makes our job really easy. Wait, wait. What do you say? There were there, there, there three applications to not complete? There were, as, as per the email this afternoon from the office, there were two applications. One was not complete. And one was still not complete as of 5 p.m., which to be, you know, I know we give them until the 11th hour, but... The applicant submitted applications. One was not complete. Yes. And it's a little bit of a shame because it is the sponsoring organization that. Um, it's who? They're both, I think, Kingsbridge Heights Community Center, which is that's frustrating, actually. That they're both from the Kingsbridge Heights. No, no, no. Not that it's not frustrating that they're both from Kingsbridge Heights. It's frustrating that um, one is missing a piece and the other one. Isn't like they know what to do. Mm -hmm. When it when it we're gonna take this before exec. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason we can't get more time? I'm not pushing. No, sorry. We can make. I, like I said, I'm can a we, big. Can we approve them subject to receiving the items by exec? I don't see why not. Great. I'll make a motion to approve them both and application with subject to application B being complete by executive yes. committee. 
I'll second that motion. Okay, so motion to to approve both. We'll bring we'll bring these to the full. So. Well, if I, I don't know because this is part of what I thought we would be presenting, and we never mm -hmm. had this step before where the full oh, body okay. needed to vote. So normally this vote was sufficient, and, that was it. and then we would just present in June. Okay. Now we do not have time to vote in June because the presentation ceremony comes before the meeting. Oh. So what we say, I mean, the guidance I got from the district manager was to present them at exec and. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I will say on what protocol. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is exec? Um. Uh -huh. Um. I would. I believe it is. It should be June fifth. Okay. So I put the date down for the uh, in the in the minutes. Yeah, I believe it's June fifth because it's the. First Wednesday, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I do also want to raise that while I think we should do everything we can to have these young people acknowledged because it is not their fault that our procedures got changed in the middle of this cycle, um, it is concerning to me that these applicants will go through a different process than everybody else who's being recognized, and it really should be more consistent throughout. However, the decision wasn't made until after we set our timeline and just, again, transparency. Everyone was aware of our timeline and in the meetings I had, I said, but I want it to be consistent with everyone else. That was something I think I said four or five times. So I will express my own frustration that that was my goal is to get us in line with everyone and here we are still not. not. In line. I'm sorry. No, it's in. I love you. Um, is there any new business? Any old business? Any other business? Any anything? Thank you for the chairmanship. Thank you. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. Okay, meeting is adjourned at 747.